dishes away and I had a cup fall down and it fell right into the wax but the good thing about it is it's going to be easy to clean up so yeah but still no fun yeah lovely okay all clean it wasn't hard I just had to put a little elbow grease in there so yeah it went all over the place, y'all. I even found some over there that I'm still noticing. Oh my goodness, okay, let me clean this up. Like little spots in here. Little bit splashed here. Hello. So, it's after work. Today is Monday. And I am just seated here doing absolutely nothing. But I brought out the camera but I'm doing nothing. I have nothing planned, y'all. Just relaxing. Um, I may watch the latest season of Love is Blind. I don't know. But other than that, not a whole lot is going on. Not a whole lot at all. So, yeah. So I had pulled out my camera a little while ago to show you guys my dinner and as I was eating I noticed a fly I don't know about you guys but when I see a fly everything stops flies are disgusting and just their buzz hearing that does something to me I don't know but I had to cover my food get my fly swatter water get my fly swatter and kill it yeah and I actually swatted it out the air this time normally I don't <laughs> Savannah laughs at me because my reflexes aren't as quick as hers she'll swat it out the air and it'll be dead normally with me it'll have to land on something and then I can kill it most of the times so anyway for dinner I just had leftovers I had broccoli steamed broccoli and um, was it last night or the night before maybe the night before I made um, cabbage with sausage in it and shrimp so yeah that's what I had and yeah so after the whole fly fiasco I had to reheat my food again it took like 20 minutes for me to kill it because I'm telling you, I don't do anything until the fly is dead. And reheated my food and I ate it and didn't even think about bringing out the camera. So what I'm going to do now is, since we have to go in the office three days a week, um, make my breakfast and lunch and get my stuff ready to go. It's not late. It's 6.50 and... I'm just gonna go into my room right now. The girls are in their room, so um, usually during the week we do our own thing. And then on the weekends, you know, on Fridays, well, that is the weekend, we'll 
come out here and watch a movie or whatever so yeah nothing really happening you know I did get to talk to Tyreek a little bit today and that was nice for those of you that don't know or you should know um, my son lives in another town and I'm not gonna give the name of that town of course for safety reasons and I don't see him as often as I would like but I do talk to him and text him often so yeah he's doing good he just got a new car not a new car but he got another car and so um, yeah he's doing good working and yeah I just realized I never gave you an update on him for a while but yeah he's doing well and him and Taylor are still together and we love Taylor so yeah anyway let me make my lunch and breakfast for tomorrow and then I'm going to retire to my room okay so here is my lunch <laughs> and yes I kept my Olive Garden container because it's the perfect size for me to use for work and whatever so yeah don't come for me um, I don't keep all my containers but I did keep this so anyway here's my breakfast for tomorrow I didn't have as much cottage cheese as I thought I did which is fine so I just have that in fruit and I'm going to bring this premier protein drink for breakfast that way you know I can be full even though I'll probably be full drinking most of this but I'll make sure I eat this first and then for lunch it doesn't look very pretty you guys but anyway I'm showing you I made some lettuce wraps <laughs> there's three of them in here and like I said I know it's not very pretty but it's the lettuce and then I have the pepper turkey breast then I have a piece of a slice of cheese wrapped in those so yeah it doesn't look very pretty but that's okay and then I'm going to fill my cup up here my Starbucks cup with water we do have water at work but the filter is looking kind of gross and I don't want to drink the water there so yeah Hello, Ooh, the sun is coming out. It was kind of like overcast earlier. Anyway, it's another day and it's after work and I am just sitting here resting. I don't know if you guys heard all that noise. Working on my roof again. I haven't given you guys any updates on my roof because there is no update. I am working on saving up the money to get it done, but I don't have 15,000 yeah roofs are very expensive so if you don't know um, I did mention it a while back it started leaking in one area in my room not horribly bad but enough to if I didn't pay attention to it or didn't see it or whatever it can cause a problem in the long run so I've been getting it patched up and then it'll be fine throughout the winter 
then if there's like a huge rain and whatever like that you know just the elements and then by the time the next year comes around again it's time to redo it because it then fell apart so yeah that's the story in my life right now and yeah I'm hoping I can get that taken care of really soon because it worries me and yeah anyway so that's what that noise was if you guys were able to hear it when I edit this I'll be able to see if you know I was able to catch any of the loud noise anyway I'm just gonna relax because today was my early day and I started super early because I worked here from home today and yeah I haven't pulled out the camera since I left work the other day because there is literally nothing for me to you guys hear that there's literally literally nothing that I have been doing and there's nothing to update you guys on so but I just wanted to vlog today Imagine when I do get my roof redone and if I'm home during that time because I don't have to be home when they do it but if I was home how noisy it would be yeah good morning it's a horrible angle and I just woke up and my face is still patterned from my mask anyway move that a little bit uh, can't whatever anyway it is Saturday it's 7 30 and I'm up y'all but in my defense I went to bed around eight o'clock last night because yesterday was my early day at work and I woke up super early even before I normally get up so I was just tired anyway I'm looking for something to take because I feel myself getting sick it's that time of year where it's like winter in the morning and spring in the afternoon or summer in the afternoon you know how they say whatever so yeah the weather change is getting to me I'm trying to figure out what to take because it's not a full-on cold or anything like that I do have like the Robit Robitussin, the Theraflu, all that NyQuil good stuff, all that good stuff, but I'm not there. So I have this Zycam cold remedy, medicated fruit drops, but that's just going to be like candy. Found one. This is what I was talking about. Yeah. Emergency. Yeah. That's what I'm going to take. And then I'm going to have my coffee and then yeah not doing anything today y'all I did have plans but um, that fell through but yeah good morning good morning so I watched this show on Netflix maybe two years ago actually let me see 2021 I watched a show on Netflix called Hellbound it's a Korean show which I love Korean shows it's just different than Americans of course but I just love it anyway I was watching it and I think there are six episodes yes there's six episodes I had to look look it up um, in the first season and the second season um, that's out now it's been since 2021 and I'm sure it probably came out in K Korea sooner than it came here but it was so good to me and yeah have you guys seen it? it's called hellbound it's on Netflix and there's a second season now but without telling you guys anything about it if you want to see it or if you plan on seeing it so people get a message not everyone but like in a week you're going to die you're going to hell or something like that and then in a week these creature monster type things come get them and they drag them to hell and people see it if you try to stop them from getting the person they get rid of you and stuff like that so yeah and I know it sounds like crazy and whatever but it's really really good and I'm gonna watch the first season all over again because even though I know what happened I want to refresh my memory and plus it's been since 2021 when this first came here on Netflix I watched it and was waiting patiently <laughs> for the second season and so I'm glad it's on now and that's what I'm going to do today probably don't watch all 
the episodes, but at least I'll catch up on season one. So, yeah. Boring day. So Savannah's making dinner. I don't know what she's making, but she had me taste some sauce and it smelled good. So she made that over there and she's boiling some noodles, I think. I don't know. I'll let you guys see what it is when she's done. Did you make pho? No. What is it? I know it's, it's noodles, um, but. Dumpling noodle soup. Oh my I goodness. soup dumplings and I just made noodle soup. Ah, did you taste you can't it yet? Really find vegan ones, no, not yet. Yeah. I'm sure it's delicious because she had me taste the sauce and it tastes really good. Sunday dinner was delicious. I just wanted to make sure I came on and told you guys about this because Savannah was so proud at what she did when she said she wanted to make dinner. I'm thinking, okay, you know, she's just making dinner, but I guess she found this recipe or whatever this girl on TikTok that made what she made. And was it she didn't make the wontons homemade? Well, Savannah didn't, but the girl did anyway. So yesterday we actually went to the store. I told you guys I was just gonna catch up on my show on Netflix Hellbound and then watch the next season so I was doing that and she asked me she's like mom you have any plans and I'm like no she's like you want to come to the store with me and I'm like not really and she's like but I want company I'm like well I don't really want to go and she's like well you could just sit in the car whatever so we do that from time to time even when I go somewhere and they don't want to go or whatever I'm like I just need the company so just come sit in the car with me so I did ride around with her. She went to a few different stores and I stayed in the car, honestly, because I didn't want to get out. So I brought my Kindle and read. Anyway, all that to say, she got the stuff that she needed for dinner. And I'm like, what are you making? She's like, it's a surprise. So I didn't even know what she was making until my eyes started watering up. And I'm like, are you cutting onions? And she's like, yes, excuse me. And so that's when I went over there and I vlogged it. And when I seen the noodles, I'm like, okay, I know thing to do with soup or whatever. Excuse me, you guys, but I still didn't know exactly what it was. So when she was ready, when it was done, she plated it and she's like, mom, come vlog it. Cause she was proud of what she did and she should be cause you know, it, it was, it was good. And so that's when you guys seen the video. And then after I turned the camera off, me and Cheyenne, we came in here to make our own. She's like, no, you guys aren't going to fix it right. So she actually made our bowls. So. Oh, I think it must have been a bird. I seen a shadow outside and my curtains are not open. So, yeah, it must have been a bird. Anyway, so she fixed our bowls of the soup and it was really good. It was really good. Everything was vegan. Well, of course, duh. If, well, if you didn't know, Savannah's a vegan, so she made it her way. But it was so good, and it just tasted really good. It was a little bit spicy. It had a kick to it, but not overwhelming where you couldn't eat it. It was so good. I'm like, okay, put this down as something that you're going to make again. Anyway, that's that. And yesterday also, so remember... A while back I went to my friend's house and I didn't vlog it but I did vlog when I came home that she ordered me a grill just like hers so I still haven't put it together but we have been planning on every Saturday going to her house to help her clean out her garage let me go back a little bit my battery's flashing y'all know how I am one moment okay so without going into my friend's business because I would never do that her personal business um, I'm gonna watch what I say here and then I'm gonna let her know and then if she tells me to take out things I will 
but um okay so her husband is sick right now and actually right now he's in the hospital and he's not able to help out as much as he used to at the house that's the reason why I'm helping her and stuff like that okay so anyway she a long time ago and she would not mind me telling this part at all but a long time ago and she will admit it to herself she had like a shopping addiction where it was so bad to where she would buy things two three four of things different colors and we're talking we're not only talking about clothes we're talking about shoes purses accessories um stuff you need for your house pots pans i mean silverware i mean just stuff she would just buy she had a shopping addiction and you know she doesn't have it anymore but her garage is filled with brand new things a lot of them are brand new that still have the tags on it never been used that she's like why am i holding on to these things so what me and my girls have been doing and it's because i took my girls go over there sometimes too not all the time but sometimes because they grew up with her kids as well so you know so we go over there or i go over there and what we're doing is we're trying to separate stuff get them labeled for her to have a huge garage sale or yard sale whatever <laughs> you want to call it she's like i know i'm not going to get my full amount for it but you know at least get some money back and i'm like yes i agree so we're going through we're trying to separate things and price them put them in a certain corner for garage sale put stuff in a corner a certain area for like give away to goodwill like her things because she has her things their things in the garage also and things that you know she needs to keep so that's what i'm helping her with and it's a lot it's a lot and it feels like we barely even scratched the surface so that's why i've been going over there helping her out a lot because her husband you know is not able to do it and she's a really good friend and yeah and i keep telling her she keeps trying to give me some of this stuff and some of it it's like okay i'm gonna pay you for this because you bought for it and she won't take my money and it's like okay then i'm not gonna take it at all and some stuff we do take okay yeah but it's like i don't want to just go to her house and get everything and she mentioned something about a particular watch and she wears hats as well like huge church hats beautiful church hats so it's like okay i'm going to either do something like that for her because i don't want her just to continue giving us stuff and she's been like that the whole time I've known her. I've known her since I was a kid. We actually went to the same church together when we were younger. So I don't want her to keep giving me stuff. Anyway, um, what was I saying? I was supposed to do that yesterday. And then she called me the night before and said, let's reschedule. I know I'm rambling. I said all that to say that that's what I had planned yesterday. But that's the reason why. I was just at home doing nothing until Savannah asked me to go to the store with her. So, yeah. Right now, y'all, I'm just, I'm just blah, blah, at the mouth. Anyway, right now, I'm reading this good book. It's called Keep It in the Family. And it's not what you probably think it's about. Because when I told Savannah what it's about, she raised her eyebrow and like, don't even go down that road. No, it's a murder mystery. And... It's about murder in the family. So that's why I keep it in the family, not what you probably think it's about. Anyway, that's the book I'm reading right now. I know you didn't ask, but it's so good. And his book has so many twists and turns. And when I thought I knew who the killer was, they mixed it up again. And then when I thought I knew who the killer was, they mixed it up again and I love books like that. It's like keep me guessing. If I guess pretty much what's going on, then to me that author didn't do a good job because keep me guessing. Keep me wondering. Keep me thinking that oh I got it and then plot twist. Anyway. Yeah. Did I say today's Sunday and we're getting ready to go for church? We're getting ready to go to church. Not for church, <laughs> but I am for church. <laughs> anyway, yeah. 
I've been rambling a lot. I'm sitting here it's like 4 15 and I'm starting dinner but I'm just relaxing reading my book I have the front door open because I have the security gate and then I have my sliding glass door open just to let the air circulate because it's not really hot today and I use I'm using my oven so you know it's getting kind of warm in here and my fan is on so I don't have my curtains open all the way I just pushed them a little bit and I'm sitting here and the wind came and the way it blew across the open part y'all I jumped so high tell me why I thought it was somebody walking in my backyard yeah so here's my dinner teriyaki chicken baked in an oven it came seasoned already and I tasted a piece and it's really really good and then I just have steamed broccoli so I'm gonna put some salt and pepper on there just a little bit and this is my dinner y'all voila that's it that's all I'm cooking oh I, I did make potatoes for the girls well for Shine and Savannah but Savannah will have a different kind of meat of course because she's vegan but yeah that's what I'm having. Oh my goodness. Y'all, I just finished reading the book that I was telling you guys about. About keeping in the family. The twist just kept coming. Once I thought I knew what they were telling me, then something else happened and it completely threw me off until the end of the book and even now my jaw is dropped yeah. if you guys are readers if you guys love to read i recommend that book let me show you the cover um, i'm not going to do it on my kindle because if i open it the cover will go away okay this is the cover keep it in the family by john mars this book sent me through so many emotions. Mine. I'm just like. Usually when I'm done reading a book. I hop into another one right away. I gotta recover from that one. Yeah. Yeah. It, it really sent me y'all it was if you are a reader and you read this book let me know because let me know what you think because I'm really just like this was a really good book this was a good book okay. it's still early you guys it's like not even nine o'clock yet and I've eaten dinner, the dishes are done, the troops are fed, and I'm just gonna go in my room and probably wind down and get over this book emotionally <laughs> and pick out another one to read. I'm gonna go to an actual book because I flip flop between my Kindle and a physical book, so I am going to go to a physical book now. So, yeah, but not tonight because I need to recover. So yeah. Good morning. 
by seeing this you already know what time it is yes today is election day i'm actually going to drop off me cheyenne and savannah's before um i head into work what time is it um, it's almost six o'clock. Today is Tuesday, November 5th, and I'm not going to turn it over because it has our name, address, and then they had to sign in the corner on one side that says that they allowed me to drop it off. So, yeah, I'm going to do that and wait these results. We probably don't hear anything till tomorrow. This is more stressful than 2020. <laughs>